What's up, guys? It's HVAC Millionaire right here on YouTube. Today, we're going to talk about how to build influence with your customers and anyone else for that matter. So first, we're going to talk about form. I know I've probably talked about this before, but you need to hear it again. So form is just an acronym, stands for Family, Occupation, Recreation, Material, Possessions. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're looking at when we enter the home or pull in the driveway. We're looking at you know, do they have a family? Um, what is their occupation possibly? You know, it, it might be clear if you see something out in the driveway that, that uh, maybe a vehicle, a work vehicle that has, you know, Department of Transportation on it. Okay, well, chances are somebody there must work for the Department of Transportation. Um, Recreation, you know, you might see a boat sitting in the front yard, or you might have to come in through the garage and you see fishing poles or golf clubs or um, old vehicles in there that there are maybe a restoration project that they're working on. We're just looking for something that, that we can break the ice with and, and start a conversation with them with. Um, material possessions, that kind of goes to recreation, um, but it could go further than that. Um, so anyhow, you've got to look at that stuff. Now, you got to read this book, Never Split the Difference, uh, Negotiating as If Your Life Depended on It with by Chris Voss. And he talks about what's called labeling. And we're going to use labeling in uh, building some rapport and, you know, opening up our customers so we can get to know them better and get some information from them. That way we can serve them at the highest level. So it, it we're going to be positively influencing them, but we're going to use labeling, um, which is what Chris Voss calls it. And, it. and it basically starts like this. It looks like, it seems like, it sounds like. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. So first, we're, we've got an observation. You know, maybe we see a boat in the driveway and fishing poles in the garage. Well, I may say something like, looks like you love to fish. And they may say, oh, yeah, we just got back from a trip and, um, you know, we we uh, we we caught a few. But, you know, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. We didn't catch very many. So, well, still sounds like you had a great trip. I, I've been on several fishing trips where uh, I didn't catch anything. <laughs> he says, yeah, I mean, besides for that, we camped and we we actually cooked out and. Um, we did, we definitely didn't miss a meal. We, we ate very well. Well, uh, and, and the weather was beautiful. I, I may say, seems like you probably didn't want to leave. Oh no. I mean, we, yeah, you gotta, you know, live the dream, get back to work, do the, do the daily grind. <clears throat> well, sounds like you might be ready to plan another trip. How long ago was that trip? You know, if I didn't hear him the first time. Um, so you see how this goes. It, like I can get a lot of information just by using seems like, sounds like, looks like. And I can, and the, the goal is to get them talking. And, and you know, as well as I do, anytime somebody's talking about something they love, like sometimes you can't get them to shut up because they just love it and they just keep talking. So um, this opens the doorway for us to learn some information about them and to really get to know them on a personal level because business is all about building relationships building connections, networking. And the more I know about this person, the more I could serve them. So here's another observation. You notice a golfing trophy, maybe in the basement. I may say something like, looks like someone in your family's into golf. I noticed the trophy over there uh, on the fireplace mantle. Oh yeah, um, I, I actually won that a few years back or my son won that. Let's say he says, my son won that and... Uh, you know, we place it up there because he's really proud of it. Well, it seems like they must be pretty good if they want a trophy. Yeah, that's actually a first place trophy. He, he had a par three on, on the uh, fourth hole and actually uh, hit his very first hole in one. And I'm like, oh, man, that's cool. Um, I, I'm sure that made you pretty proud, didn't it? He's like, oh, man, I was there. I saw it. It was it was awesome. So. Yeah, that just sounds like a lot of fun. So you get what I'm saying. Like we can, looks like, um, seems like, sounds like we can keep this going. Just keep it going. And it's amazing how that's all you would have to say. You just keep repeating those things and you're, they're going to tell you a lot of information. 
Maybe the observation is you've got tissue boxes, allergy medication, inhaler, room humidifiers, or room air cleaner. I mean, we see these things in our customers' homes all the time. So this is a good icebreaker. I could say, looks like someone in the home suffers from allergies. And they say, yeah, um, that's my daughter, Becky. Becky, you know, she's she's had allergies her whole life. And I mean, and uh, well, I see, see the tissue there on the counter. Seems like it, it's kind of a problem. Does she... Um, <laughs> She, uh, you know, obviously has some issues with the, with the allergies. Oh, yeah. You know, she also has an inhaler and um, something she's dealt. She's kind of had mild asthma all her life. And, and I may say, you know, it sounds like you could benefit from reduced allergies in your home. Yeah, I haven't given that much thought, but we, you know, we, we bought this air cleaner and it seemed to help quite a bit. Okay, well... I'm going to take a look at your system now. And if, you know, if I see any way that we, there's anything we can do, then uh, I'll definitely bring that to your attention. So you see how I could just break the ice, you know, looks like, seems like, sounds like. Maybe you see a family vacation picture. Um, we're never going to talk about an individual in the picture because you don't know if that individual is even still living and you might immediately bring up some, some very sad emotions and not that that can't happen anyhow. Um, but that wasn't, that well, was never your intention. So always focus on the location or, um, you know, what's happening in the photo. Don't focus on the people in the photo. Um, so I may say something like, it looks like looks like that was a fun vacation. Oh, it was awesome. We went to Jamaica and then we went over to Hawaii. It was like a one, a month long vacation. It was so awesome, man. That seems like you had a great time. Oh yeah. We got to see all these things and do all this stuff. And, and, um, sounds like you might be ready to plan another vacation, you know? So I'm just getting them talking and it, it, it lights them up. You know, like I said, if people are talking about what they love, it's going to light them up. They're going to, they're going to give you as much information as you want. Um, maybe they love their dogs. I'm a huge dog lover. So dogs are always like my first thing. Um, so I may say, it looks like he's a spoiled little guy. Or of course I might say, is this a boy or a girl? And then I may say, looks like he's a spoiled little guy. Oh yeah. He gets whatever he wants. You know, he's, um, he's been sleeping on the couch with me all morning or whatever. And I say, well, sounds like he's got a great mama keeping him warm. <laughs> oh yeah. He's, I think he's got me trained pretty well. I think he's got me trained better than we have him trained. And then I may say something like, sounds like you may be ready to have a few more running around, you know, <laughs> just, these are just ways to continue to break the ice, to continue to build rapport and build influence with your customer. Um, now, if it does turn negative for any reason let's say it goes straight to oh yeah he's a spoiled guy you should have seen you should have seen my other um my little girl and she just passed away just a couple of weeks ago you know it's, it, there's always something like or if i'm talking about the picture it could be yeah um my biggest son there um who's holding my hand in that picture you know um he actually passed away a couple of years ago. So there's always a possibility that it could turn to, you know, a negative or um, I guess I hate to say negative, but um, you know, something that brings sadness instead of joy. So just remember when it comes to empathy versus sympathy, sympathy uh, does, doesn't do the customer any good because it's all about you. It's like, I feel so bad for you. Well, who cares? You know, the customer cares about how they feel. Um, so when we're, that's basically the difference between sympathy and empathy. So empathy is, I can see how you feel. Um, so it definitely directs the attention on them. So always direct the attention on them. And that's how you do good empathy. So push to the positive. So this whole situation, we're trying to push the whole thing to the positive. And I'll show you a way to do that, you know, uh, as we go through these examples here, if it does turn um, something that, you know, does not bring joy from an observation. So <clears throat> um, 
but here in the beginning here, it sounds like, sounds like your family really cares about each other. That's really admirable. Oh yeah. I've got a really great family. I'm very lucky, you know, or however they respond to you. And that's the thing is when you say seems like, sounds like, looks like you're gaining information. So if you call it wrong, they're going to tell you, Oh no, my family actually sucks. You know? Okay. Well now I got this information that's going to determine how I continue the conversation, but you're, they're going to give you information when you use seems like, sounds like, looks like. So <clears throat> seems like this little guy depends on you and loves you very much. Looks like you have some great memories that will always stay with you or showing, you know, extra empathy here. I can see how much that hurts you when, when you're talking about it. I can feel how much that meant to you. I can see how important that picture is to you. I can feel how much you care about that. Always remember to listen five times more than you talk. He, she, who talks the most loses. So you want to listen intently because that's always going to determine where you're going to take the conversation next. It all depends on what you learn. And the more you learn, the better you can help them. So let's rewind this real quick. I know this is a really quick lesson, but observations, family, occupation, recreation, material, possession, use. It seems like, it sounds like, it looks like to gain information, listen intently, learn from the responses, push to the positive, find ways to help. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, visit HVACServiceReady.com. I've got technician memberships to make you a better technician. I've got business owner membership that's going to make you a better business owner. Um, you can build value, increase revenue, and just advance in your career or in your business. If you need a new website, visit www.MarketToday.com. Get noticed online. Get recognized as a professional. Convert more customers into paying clients. That's it, guys. Go make money.